Hello dear friends, my name is Jitender Bafna. I am a senior MuleSoft architect. In my last video, we have already went, went through like how we can uh, do VPC sizing, what is the concept and the architecture behind the VPC and also we have seen a live demonstration on VPC, how we can create a VPC. So basically uh, in last video, I have deployed one application on port 8091 and which cannot be accessible publicly right so for accessing uh, that application publicly what i have done i have created one more application deployed on 8081 and that particular application also deployed within the same vpc so it is able to send the request to the application 8091 okay to avoid that like how we can access the application which is deployed within the vpc right so dedicated load balancer is the answer okay so let me show you so generally I have an application I will tell you so I will suggest please uh, watch my previous video before watching this so I have this particular application which is like uh, VPC 8091 okay if I try to access this it should give a 502 bad gateway or something like that so to avoid that issue what I have done so basically as per firewall rule 8081 is publicly accessible so I deployed one application VP test app so generally this application deployed on 8081 and this forwarding a traffic to application 8091 basically so they both are within the VPC even this is accessible over the public right they both are within the VPC so VPC test app can send the request to the 8091 application and I can show that uh, so we have done all those things in my previous video so you can go through that okay so let's uh, let's wait while it's opening it's not responding that's fine so so instead of creating this application doesn't make sense right so we can create a load balancer so what we will do we will create a load balancer within the vpc and load balancer gives the two public ip addresses that, so using that public IP addresses you can access your application deployed or within the VPC over the private port 8091 or 8092 you can see that so that so that is the URL right so if I try to access through this URL also so this is the internal URL for that application so it will not accessible okay and even it will be not reachable so now what I will do I will go to my any point manager I can go to load balancer then I can say create load balancer I can say mule demo LB I can select the VPC I will select two workers basically I will keep inbound HTTP mode off because I want my request to come on HTTPS if you uh, if you do this as a on right so you can send the request uh, like you can enable the HTTP redirect so basically redirect means SSL tunneling. So request is coming on HTTPS and you are sending request on the HTTPS to the other application. So basically you get the request on load balancer on HTTPS and you are forwarding your request to the application running on HTTPS. So I will keep off only in this off means it will do SSL offloading. The request will come on HTTPS and it will send the request to the application on HTTP. I have to provide at least one certificate so you can go to mule documentation you can generate a self signed certificate this is the command open SSL request you know RSA algorithm key size is 2048 I want a private key as well as the public key and how like expiration day after 3000 day otherwise you can create a CFG file where you can define your domain okay and you can execute this command basically you can provide the CFG you can configure all those things you create one CFG file and just skip at some location you can use even you can create a wildcard certificate so you can go through this mules of documentation so for now what I will do you can also use the open SSL utility you can download that okay so I will paste this so I want to generate so it's an open SSL request new key RSA okay so I can give country as I and so state I can give you know anything locality I can say Mumbai anything like you know organization name self I can say IT 
common name i can say localhost that's fine email address you can ignore it so your it will generate a certificate in my folder you can see it generated just now a private key and the public key okay so now i will keep i have explained all this option in my previous video where we have discussed about the dedicated load balancer you can go through that you can say add certificates then you can choose a public key so i will go to my folder certificates i can say my public key also you can choose your private key then you have to define at least one mapping rule default is app you know so basically what will happen so this rule says like you know your uh, like app so app is the variable and target is the application so basically you know you keep this in the mind and like it should redirect the request to the http protocol okay so i will so explain this rule or even i have explained this rule in my previous video you can go through that and i have also explained some complex rules also save certificates and white listed cdr is 0.0.0, .0. it will allow all the external traffic okay so definitely you can apply the policy using api manager or whatever on your application but it will allow if you want to allow a specific subnet or specific ci cids right you can remove this and you can add more cids and all those things okay so i can say create load balancer so generally it will take some time for creating the load balancer and yeah load balance is created and you can see uh, you got two public ip addresses these are the two public ip addresses and this is the load public dns so definitely like uh, you can have a custom dns so basically like people may require you know the custom dns like api uh, dot example dot com right so you can use this so you have to do the public dns registry between you know this particular uh, this particular url no so always do this dns uh, entry uh, on in the public registry so basically you can like you know whenever the request come on api example dot com it should redirect the request to the mule demo lb dot net so your load balancer has been created now i will try to access the application so how we can what will be our url so if you open a mapping rule okay i will go there in mapping rule it expecting the app name right after the dns so basically it will be https because we have enabled the https mule demo dot net and like uh, i have to go to my application because it expecting the application name so it okay so this is my application name slash test so this is my url okay so test is nothing it's a resource okay it's a you can it's a self signed certificate that's why you got this so you can proceed it so you got the response see let me open this uh, in this particular thing i can say open with notepad so basically you are saying response from application 8091 right you got that response right so that is how you can uh, transfer your traffic to the runtime manager the application deploy to the runtime manager using dedicated load balancer so simple right so you, whatever whenever the application deployed on the private port right so it can be accessible via dedicated load balancer so what will happen so whenever the request come to the dedicated load balancer generally you know make sure like uh, you, you know uh, this particular dns map with some custom dns okay so generally you can use this and this are the public port so if you copy this and try to ping it so it will give one of the it will get resolved to one of the ip addresses 34.23377.99 so it can so there are two workers so default timeout is 300 seconds so these are the things you need to you know make sure like uh, uh, everything is configured you can def define the multiple uh, rule so whatever first match rule it will apply that rule okay okay now next uh, what i want to show you so that's like uh, all a 
about a dedicated load balancer that is how you can create a dedicated load balancer using a mule soft okay and also i will like recommend it i will suggest to watch all the previous video it will be very useful for you because it explain each and every concept of dedicated load balancer and this is just a demonstration okay okay so i hope uh, you like the video if you like the video please click on subscribe and the like button thanks for watching